Good morning. Oh! <laughs> Hello, that was a nice shot of my bum. <laughs> Just unwrapping the, the coving. The cornice and the dado rails. I'm trying to get my head around it and where everything goes because there's a lot of pieces. We've got all these, so let me show you. Look at this. Ah. It looks so cool. Isn't it amazing? It's really like lightweight. Yeah. It's good break it. It's really lightweight. So we've got a decorated Justin. He's gonna come around and fit it all. So he has to first of all take off this cornice, this coving, whatever, one or the other, take that off. And this all pretty much, pretty much glues to the wall with really, really strong adhesive. So that's gonna go around. And then we've got dado rails. We've got, ooh, where are those? Oops. We've got a ceiling room, look at this. Again, it's all like so light, but I'll come here. So that's gonna go there. Cause we've had the electrician put a, um, put a light source in for us. We've had all this plastered. You might remember that we had a bit of an issue <laughs> with the plugs and the switches going a bit odd and strange. So now we're, we're all plastered ready. These are my panel corners. How amazing. So we're just working out where the dado needs to go. I'm not sure how low or how high. I'm thinking maybe a bit lower actually. These are the corners of my panel, panel sections. I think maybe like here, up and across. I think this is the dado rail. Oh, I see. So it's a bit more simple. Oh, please be careful. I know. Yeah, I'm sort of bending them. I know. So this will be our dado, which I reckon needs to maybe go down here like that. Now, like Justin just said. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Maybe so it's in between the radiator and there, all the way around. So then when it's with this, maybe so it's something like, or maybe we go a little bit lower so it's almost above this. So it's halfway between there. Obviously, the lower you go, the, the taller the, the panels at the top can be. Yeah, and I think that that would look better, taller panels. Mm. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I, I need you to hold it, really, but um, and I can see. But yeah, so that's the dado. So now we've got the kitchen. We've got all the kitchen cornings in there. And these are elastic. How beautiful are these? Let me kind of show you. Let me show you the vibe, guys. So these are the corners. And then these are like this. Obviously, it's not going to be this length, they used to be cut down, but these are kind of like this. <laughs> so it'll be like that, you know what I mean? Like awesome. sections. So it'll go, so we'll be going. I'm going to put this wall line in the middle, so that'll be like that, and like that the other side. So it's going to be quite thick panels, I'm going to build it around that switch. <laughs> so it'll look like this. Look at it the way around, it's upside down now. But you know what I mean? How does that look? Does it look good? It looks great. And then there'll be a dado. And no, in fact, there's a dado beneath. Oh, no, it's beneath, so that's fine. So it'll be like that, and there's a dado beneath that rail. So it look cool. That's great. I do think you should put them down, though. I don't trust you. <laughs> These things are like made of glass. No, I mean, they're not that fragile, but it's kind of like, almost like plaster of Paris it feeling. It feels like, what are they called? Like meringue. Yeah, like meringue. <laughs> it feels like they're made of sugar. <laughs> but I mean, how amazing is that? Yeah, I'm, honestly, I actually cannot wait to see this up. It's going to look so majestic, isn't it? And then we'll have our beautiful wall lights on here, beautiful... In fact, have everyone seen these? I don't think anyone's seen these. Also, they need cleaning back up and going back on, but we've got these amazing dinners. I got these from Buster and Punch. They're pricey. I'm not going to lie to you guys. They're pretty pricey, but they look freaking cool. I mean, look how cool it is with that knurled. So they just will stick in there. And then we'll have, we've got the plugs down there as well, which are equally as beautiful and have um, USB switches so we can charge our phones super easy. So this room is going to come together so beautiful now, I think. The we've got to paint it. That's what we've got to do right yeah, now. Yeah, so we've now to... we need to... So what Justin said, because this is plaster, he's told us to use half primer, half water mix all over the wall. And then after that's dry, to go over again with one coat of primer. He said, otherwise, the glue, when we stick these with glue, the plaster is going to soak up the glue, and then these will literally fall off. <laughs> so I was like, okay, we will paint the wall then. No problemo. Oh, and then these, let me show you these finally. These things are our lower corner section. So underneath the day, we'll have ooh, smaller panels. So these are going to be like this. And these are like made of porcelain. These, yeah, these feel a bit more 
porcelain -y. yeah. Almost like, I don't even know. But they'll go like that. So it's gonna be three big panels on the top, three small panels, dado all around the room, picture rail all around the room, and a cornice all around the room. And then the massive corner thing. It's gonna look very flamboyant. It's gonna look so extra. In fact, I made a bit of an error. I bought a, um, bought a chandelier, didn't I? It's horrible. It's so big, I didn't realise how big it was. It's, it's not just big, it's horrible. It's not nice. You don't, you don't like it? <laughs> I hate it. It's just a bit gold, it's like really gold. I it, thought it'd be brass. It's the kind of gold when, if you bought a crown for your five-year-old son to wear at a birthday party, it's that cool. kind of plasticky gold colour. Yeah, no, I need, to, I need to repack it in the box and send it back. Although I've ripped a few things up. So yeah. Um, let's, we need to get on to doing this wall then, really. Yeah, let's get to it. Breakfast time then. Yes. Job done. So that was one coat of, so I've used a fire and ball wall and ceiling primer in light tones. Half primer, half water, mixed just so it's really really wet and the plaster will soak it up and then when this is dry we're going to go over with just the primer on its own no water added just one coat of primer and then hopefully tomorrow it'll all be dry and then our decorator can just stick our the decor pieces straight onto the wall and they will stick properly so i know it probably looks a little bit slapdash but it's just about getting that water on there so the plaster can soak it up so job done Good work on the flags. It's nearly there. They look way better. I mean, like, look at this. So this is, these are ones I haven't done yet. I don't know what these are, horrible, like, big black. Look at your feet. I know, Ew. they're gross, aren't they? So you've done these, but you've not done that one. I've not done all around this side of the house yet, but this new jet, jet wash thing is, like, my new favourite tool. But I wanted to see what this thing would be like, jet washed. Because when we originally looked at this place, I hated this. And you were like, no, we'll keep it. Yeah, you didn't like it, did you? But it was covered in, like, fairy lights and... What we should do, we should maybe get some roses to wrap up the front. That'd be nice. No, that could be quite cool. We'd have to paint it, though. So you're going to jet wash the floor? Well, I want to see what it see what it does. I don't know what, how it's going to lift. So, I suppose, let's have a look. It'd be funny if it doesn't do anything. He might not, <laughs> he might not do anything, actually. <laughs> Right, let's see. You can see that difference, can't you? There. I mean, you'll see it more when it dries. Well, that's gonna take. That's gonna take you ages to do that. Yeah. I mean, let's have a look at this. That lifted off loads. Then. Well done. See the difference between that yeah. and that. That's amazing. I think what we do is we do this and then sand it down eventually. And send it down. What, and paint it? Yeah, and paint it. Oh, yeah. Or varnish it or something, do like a nice varnish on it. Yeah. That'd be really nice. We could paint it a nice white. It's so hot, this. I'm burning my feet that then. So, I think I've made a decision. And this is going to be the new floor. Now, I realise that it doesn't look much different. <laughs> it doesn't look much different at all, actually, to this. But, because this is coming out, this stops here so we have to if we're going to rip that out we have to completely redo the floor unfortunately so i think this is what i'm going to go for for any of you guys wondering it's project floors french oak but it's just really gorgeous so it's 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 vinyl tile but it just looks amazing oh i've also got this little gift whilst it's here <laughs> it's got this little gift from phillips it's just like a like a a light bowl it's the kind of thing you could take outside we can keep it on the table when we're sat outside or you can i mean it's a few different ways you can use it like yoga and you can just use it just anywhere it's like a little extra light which is cool it's just like a, a wireless light so thank you to phillips for sending that looking forward to putting that somewhere good morning guys welcome to munich We've kind of fast forwarded two days from the last um, time we saw you. When we were at the house doing all the decorating things, and we spent the day after that as well doing lots of decorating, and we had people coming around to start the cornice, 
I mean, all sorts was going on that entire weekend. We had so much, so much happening. Now we're in Munich. We're in Munich with Bare Minerals for literally like one day, not even a, not even a day, because I'm here to record with Rosie Huntington Whiteley for my new In The Know series. If any of you have seen those videos, they're just more like conversation pieces. It's almost like the, the point of the In The Know series for me was to kind of create a bit of a podcast because loads of you asked me to do a podcast. But for me, I prefer watching videos where people are chatting. So for example, like Joe Rogan, I like to watch that. I wouldn't necessarily listen to it, that's just me. So I wanted to create a sort of podcast vibey, chatty conversation piece that was filmed. So that's what In The Know is for me. It's kind of like, if you want to listen to a podcast, you can also watch it. So maybe for any of you guys who are like, oh, I don't really fancy watching it, but I would listen to it, maybe just stick it in the background. Anyway, um, I have been desperate to speak with Rosie Huntington Whiteley about her career path. Just what she would attribute to her success, really. So I thought, I thought you guys would be super interested too. So come all the way to Munich. I think she's here with Bare Minerals doing a few other press things. And we're here to interview her. So we're just staying overnight. Um, Alex has just been out to buy some, got some delicious like vegan bowls. This one's like a cherry peanut butter and it's absolutely delicious. What is it called? Bite Delight. Bite Delight or Delight Bite or something like something that. Like. And a note milk coffee. So I'm super, oh yeah, there we go, bite delay. So super happy. So if you guys, I don't, I don't think the Rosie interview will be up yet by the time you see this vlog, but I will let you know when it is and it'll be. The other one should be up though. Yeah, there be, should be another in the know up before you see this. If not, it'll be very, very soon. Um, but I've, I've been really working into these in the know uh, conversations because of, of you guys that watch them, you love them and the feedback is always insane and I get so much incredible feedback as well from different brands as well. Uh, a lot of people really enjoy them when they watch them. So if you never watch one, then you know, you never know, you might like it. Anyway, I am ready for the day. I'm still in my robe because I didn't want to get this down my white jumpsuit. I'm gonna get ourselves ready, finish up getting ready, and then um, go for the interview. If I don't see you, it'll be until afterwards because you'll have to just watch the in the know. Bye. <laughs> vlogging on my phone because I don't have Alex with me right now. Just finished up a gorgeous lunch with the Bare Minerals um, team, lots of German press. I'm the only girl from the UK here right now. Um, luckily everyone spoke in English for me, which is really, really sweet. Um, and we also got to have lunch with Rosie as well. So it was just really nice having a chat and everyone just like chatting with Rosie about the day and her um, ambassadorship with Bare Minerals and the power of good ambassad ambassadorship. So it's been really, really insightful. We had a fantastic interview. Really amazing. I'm feeling extremely inspired. So I think you guys are going to love it. I'll let you know as soon as it's out on stories and Twitter and all the, in fact, I'll probably put on Instagram the picture of me and her together. And Alex got a picture with Rosie, who was super chuffed. <laughs> so um, now I need to go check out and go get a flight over to Paris. It's been a whirlwind trip, super fast, in and out of Munich. And the weather is taking a turn for the worse, which is a real shame. But it's just been, it's been really fantastic and just so nice to meet Rosie. So yeah, I am super happy. This is what I'm wearing, by the way. Don't think I got to show you. My jumpsuit and my humongous belt. Oh, and on my lips, as always, Slay by Bare Minerals. As you know, it's my favourite shade. I just love it. It just makes your lips so matte and plump and nice. Anyway, off I go. Don't mind me checking out the in-room menu. Are you going for that healthy option? <laughs> Not. No, that's a bit of pizza, wasn't it? <laughs> um, okay, need to update you guys. Last time I saw you, I was I was just finishing up with the uh, lunch with Bare Minerals and Rosie Huntington Whiteley, um, which was such such a fantastic conversation, wasn't it? She's brilliant. She's yeah, she's fantastic. She's so inspiring. She was so chatty and just had so much to say. It was almost like I don't need to even ask any questions because she's kind of she says things so eloquently. I didn't no, really need to. No, she was a boss. It's all boss. Yeah, but now we're in Paris. It is Couture Week, so we are here with Victor and Rolf for the Couture Show, and I'm doing some really special filming shooting with Victor and Rolf as well and then i'll also be able to tell you about tomorrow night when it happens as well but first of all uh, i've got a big shoot with victor and rolf so 
We've just got to the Hotel La Collectionneuse. You're so French. I'm so French. I bought some little gifts. Little gifts. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, as if you got a little gift too. Liz is looking after me. Liz, you're the best. Liz is the best. So I got some things. Can't get into this. So what we got? We've got um, Bumlicious perfumed shower gel. Flower Bomb Midnight Eau de Parfum. You might remember me and Alex did a campaign for this. It's probably, I feel awful saying this, but probably my favorite flower bomb now, actually. Do you feel like you're betraying the last one? I feel like I'm betraying my, my flower bomb intents, which I've loved since I was like 15. And then I've also got a flower bomb Eau de Parfum. What have you got in yours? You've got special things. You got a card. Oh, it's my seat. It's oh, cool. my seat. It's got my seat for tomorrow's show. Christmas time. Christmas time. What I gotta Relaxing deal with. Ooh, this is new. Oh, is this a new one? I don't think I've seen spice this before. Bomb what? Night vision. Ooh, spice bomb night vision. I bet that smells. Oh. And the classic. And the classic spice bomb. Let me try this though quickly. Green. That green. Oh, it's good. Oh, wow. Love it. It's great. So nice. Thank you for the goodies. Thank you. I've not managed to catch up with you yet, have I? So, we can't really show you what's happening. It's all a big surprise coming out later in the year, but it's just a massive shoot with Victor and Rolf fragrances. And I'm wearing Victor and Rolf Couture, which is you. But yeah, I can't really tell you much, guys, but just a quick sneak peek of what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, a really really quick check-in because I didn't get to say hi because I was in a mad rush trying to get ready for tonight. Um, but we're just about to head to the Lancome party. I will reveal all at the party. Um, but something very very exciting is coming to Lancome. It's a huge huge launch. I'm currently wearing it. I'll tell you more later. <laughs> oh look who's here! Look at him! Oui, oui, euh, oui, we're going uh, to the uh, Lingom uh, ce soir. And then. Uh, Tune in this one? We will uh, drink the Van Rouge. We <laughs> 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 say in French. We'll go to the Van Rouge, s'il vous plaît. Uh, this way, uh... <laughs> the thinnest bottle. It's meant to be the thinnest bottle ever. It's beautiful. It feels so tactile. Like, it feels like a phone almost. You want to like hold it. It's beautiful and it smells delicious. Like I'm a huge fan of the Lancome. Oh. Oh hello. Look how much people go crazy. Are you not a little bit starstruck right now? I mean she's she's wonderful. I don't really fan girl. You don't really fan girl, but you have watched Great Showman oh, I love, I love at least Ray, I love 150 Ray, I times this Ray month. Showman, but I don't really fan girl really that much. It's not fan girl, are you? No, not really. You are. Just if you are. Of who? Well, no, I, I, I think she's amazing, but I'm just not really a fan girl. You're a fan girl. No, I'm not. Can we talk about the fragrance? My favorite Lancome fragrances is the Bell, and this topped it for me. Like for me, this is even more beautiful. And I just love the bottle, like this just comes off. It smells like fruity, but also still floral. It's sweet, but quite fresh and light. It's youthful, but still has like a maturity to it. It's sophisticated. I love it. I absolutely love it. And what's so 
great about it is you can fit it in your handbag so easily. So this is like the biggest launch for Lancome in so long. And the cool thing about these bottles as well is that you can take them to any counter and have the bottle refilled on the counter. Oh, that's really cool. Really cool. So forward thinking, take it straight in and they'll refill it. Amazing. So honestly, it's definitely one to try guys. I'm not just saying it. It is honestly gorgeous. Like this, I think I'm gonna be wearing a bit like constantly from now on. Oh, it's so nice! Do you think it's quite a me fragrance? It's very, it's very you. It it's is very, very, very you. Also very